What is up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. Welcome back to my next episode of the United States of Joe Winko. So, the winner of last episode's trivia question was my super awesome best friend and sister, Joey. So congratulations to Joey for answering last episode's trivia question correctly. I'm so happy for her, and I'm so happy because now she's going to become the mayor of my next um, SimCity 4 city, which is going to be right here. And this city is going to be called Gravenhurst, Canada. So yeah, congratulations to her. Let's get this party started. So I just need to double check how to spell Gravenhurst. It's actually a real place, but, um, hold on, let me look it up. I think it's, oh wait, I found it. It's basically going to be a small town, but it's still going to have the Canadian Highway running through it. And it's actually going to be where Canadian Highway 3 starts. In real life, um, that town doesn't really have a highway running through it. Um, uh, for what I've seen, it doesn't really. Not like an interstate highway. It does have a big road running through it, though. It's just a small Canadian town. There's a lot of small towns in Canada. Well, duh, because it's so cold up there, that's why. Canada is a beautiful and lovely place, though. Now, I really wish that the USA would become, like, part of Canada, like, annex in with Canada, and have, like, the same laws as Canada, too. That'd be so awesome, really. Canada, well, I shouldn't say so much stuff about the USA. They do kind of look out for their people and everything, I have to admit that. But Canada has, like, a better way of doing it. Smarter way of doing it. And a lot of people wouldn't agree with me on that when I say the USA looks out for their people. Uh, oh, dear. Uh, I always try to make sure that these episodes of the United States of Joe Wanko aren't too political. You guys know me. Alright, so... Sister Joey. Oh, by the way, she's not really a nun. Um, just making sure you all know. But I always call her my sister, so... <laughs> yeah. But she's not a nun. <laughs> I know she's gonna crack up la she's gonna be cracking up laughing when she hears that. <laughs> yeah, she said that she was really excited to be part of my um part of my new world creation too. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Okay, so let's get building the highways. Oh wait, there's another thing I forgot to put down. I always forget about this. This would be like the first thing I always put down. The money trees, because where would they be without them? We need those to build the highways. So, this is Canadian Highway 2. Not a real highway in Canada, but it's one I came up with. Okay, so I have to find a way for these to connect. That seems nice. Okay, hopefully I can pull this off. <laughs> hopefully. Alright, um, don't really have it yet. Oh man, what the hell? Alright, I'll have to... Okay, I got that torn down, so... Because I want it to be connected to Toronto, but I also want to have the other Canadian cities to have... Oh yeah, awesome! Got it! What I was going to say was, I also wanted the other Canadian cities to have access to Toronto as well. So there's some roads coming from the west. The city to the west of this is Huron Bay. Oh, that's a city that I created off the record. Named it after Lake Huron. A real lake in the USA and in Canada, but in the United States of Joe Winko, the USA and Canada, and even parts of Mexico are all in the same country. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? That's what I always try to do, though. Bring people together. 
from all over the places I can get a Greyhound bus ticket to. Only because I hate flying on airplanes. I was thinking after I fill up this map for the United States of Joe Winko, I was also going to do South America too, because I found a map that someone created that's shaped like South America. <laughs> One person on Facebook said that I should do South America next after I fill up the United States of Joe Winko. I definitely plan on it. I wonder what's, what's to the north of this? Is it Cloudview? Oh, it's Burke's Falls. Okay. And doesn't appear to be, except for that road right there, doesn't appear to be any other roads from the north. Okay. I want them to have access to the highways. Well, duh. <laughs> but I also want, like, non-roads that aren't highways to lead out of the city, too. Because I keep thinking about my adoptive mom. She gets freaked out to drive on interstates. And I understand that, too. I don't like driving on any road, let alone an interstate. I always prefer to be the pas passenger and the navigator instead. And, you know, uh, one other thing I thought of... and I actually thought of uh, things to talk about in this episode of the United States of Joe Winko. I was going to talk about... There was one thing I was researching online, but I couldn't really find the answer to... What's the difference between a tropical cyclone clone and an extra tropical cyclone? I mean, because I was reading about Hurricane Sandy. The way they mark the... It's pretty hard to show you guys without a visual. The way they mark the maps, like, of where the hurricane hit, they use, like, um... They use these circles, and the circles are color-coded. Like, I think, um... I think a tropical storm is a blue circle, and I think a category one hurricane is like a yellow circle, a light yellow circle. A category two hurricane is a dark yellow circle. Yeah, that's what it is. A category three... I'm just going to have this road end right there. Well, actually, no. I'm going to have this go all around. <laughs> Sorry, got sidetracked. And let me just save. A Category 3 hurricane is a... is an orange circle... Category 4 is a dark orange circle, and Category 5 hurricane is a red circle. However, that, that that's what they use, that's the symbols they use on a hurricane map on the Wikipedia website. However, what I noticed is some of the symbols they'd use, like for Hurricane Sandy, it became an X tropical cyclone, and for an X tropical cyclone, they're still color coded, but they use um they use a triangle instead of a circle. You guys probably do not understand what I'm talking about, but hopefully I didn't lose you guys. What I was curious is about was, like, if it's still, like, Hurricane Force wins, why aren't they just listed as Hurricane... as Hurricane Force? Because hurricanes can travel pretty far north, from what I noticed. So, like, is it if they reach, like, a certain latitude, they become an ex-tropical cyclone? Then why didn't Hurricane Camille, when it hit Virginia, because it did, it actually made landfall in, um, what's it called? It made landfall in Mississippi, but then it traveled, like, around the country, really, like, through the south, through Kentucky, as a tropical storm, but then it caused, like, destruction in Virginia because of flooding, not from the winds, for, but from the flooding, and it was a category... I just remembered something. <laughs> this is actually where um, Canadian Highway 3 was supposed to start. Eh, I can easily throw that in, because I wanted it to lead to Quebec. Alright, there. 
And let me add another road. Because I wanted them to have access to the highway. My sims to have access to the highway. I'm very accommodating when it comes to that. I'm not going to have much, uh, this is just going to be like residential zoning, like small town residential zoning, like a couple hundred or a couple thousand sims. Now I just need to find my highway signs for Canada, for the Canadian highway, because I did create a new one. If I can find them in here. All right, here's the Canadian Highway 2 sign for Ontario. I don't know why I made those signs, like, so freaking tall. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I never in my life seen a highway sign that tall. Usually you barely, you would barely even notice them from satellite view. I know they don't look very tall, but you have to remember that this is, like, an aerial view of the city. Like, if you were actually, like, down there like, small enough to be, like, human-sized on these roads, like, sim-sized, I mean, on these roads, it would look really huge. So, yeah. Okay, so I also made another sign for Canadian Highway 3, if I can find that. Um, let me see. Did I, did it import right? The way these signs are, like, all arranged, it's difficult. Really? I know the Canadian... Oh, shit! I didn't import that one! Because I remember, because I goofed up on it, because I made it too small, so I didn't add it in. Damn it! <laughs> okay, so I'll have to add that in off the record. Sorry you guys don't get to see it, but I'll post pictures of it on Facebook once I add it in. Oh, yeah, that's one thing I haven't got, got to do yet. I mean, that's one thing I haven't done yet. I didn't post pictures of my SimCity 4 cities at all on Facebook. Like, I posted pictures of my Sims 2 families, but not of my SimCity 4 cities. Okay, so now there's a couple necessities I needed to add. I needed to add, like, a bus stop and... Yeah, definitely need to add that. Well, actually, first... Let me add a garbage disposal chute. So the city isn't like... Doesn't get polluted and doesn't have trash in it at all. You guys get the drill. <laughs> okay, that looks good. And next, I just need to add... I'll add them like right in the center. Like, right there, right there, and right there. Because when you add the bus stops, the Sims are going to use them. Like, if they can get to them easily. And the parking garages, what those do is those make the Sims more likely to use um, the bus stops that you throw down. And I need to add water. I think one water tower will be enough. There's not, There's not going to be many Sims living here anyway. And there's a lot more stuff I need to add, but now since I have the power on, that's when the Sims are going to start moving in. Speaking of power, I heard that uh, Hurricane Sandy, when it hit the East Coast, it caused, like, a lot of states to lose power. Well, hurricanes do cause states to lose power. The reason why is because the wind, it blows down, like, um, trees and everything and branches, and those, what those do is those cause, like, uh... Those land on power lines, and they cause, like, a lot of states to lose power. I remember when I was on that road trip, um, like, a while ago, like, to Ohio, we stopped in Valdosta, Georgia, because, uh, my friend who took me there, he was scared to be in Florida because of the hurricane, but in reality, we really ended up being closer to the hurricane than... Hold on one sec. Okay, we ended up being closer to the hurricane because um, because it was hitting Mexico Beach, Florida, and I live on the west coast of Florida near Interstate 75, but we were closer to it because Valdosta, Georgia is closer to the panhandle of Florida than where I live, because I live kind of like in central 
like somewhat central southern Florida, southwestern Florida. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, one large police station should be enough to cover them. Alright, I'm glad they, they're making health a major priority. Alright, I need to make the school local bus funding. Alright, it covers the whole zone of the residential area. That's good. Let me add a couple wind turbines. I'll add three. And what else should I add? No one's complaining about being jobless at all, so I don't need to zone any... Well, let me add a park. That makes some more Sims move in. We have a population of 988 Sims. And that's gonna go up. Oh, it's all... Oh, they, they're finally... They moved in and they zoned all the... I mean, they moved into all the places I zoned. Awesome. Now we're at a population of 2,000. Let me see if I unlocked anything yet. I should have unlocked the mayor's house by now. Yes, I have. Let me put it right here. And a house of worship, like a church. Let me put that right there. It's raining outside right now, if you guys haven't noticed. Not sure if you guys can hear it. I'm not sure how many Sims I want to live in this small town. Um, there's, there, there's definitely room for a lot more. Look how big this map is. I just thought it would be cool to just have a small patch of, uh, small patch of space for Sims to live in. But I'll add more. Let me throw in the necessities, like a library. They'll need another one. And another elementary school. And another high school. And how could I forget this? City College. That's very important to add. I want my Sims to be educated. Okay, so we have space for more zoning now. Alright. Perfect. Now, let me add in... Another bus stop. So the Sims can get from point A to point B without causing too much traffic. Like, the one town that I have, like, in Alabama, like, the Alabama section of this map, like, one town is, like, has, like, literally no traffic because I built, like, bus stops and subway stations everywhere. It's awesome. Oh, the Sims are happy to be here. That's why they're launching the fireworks. <laughs> That's always good. Alright, so Gravenhurst, Can Ontario, Canada. It's looking good. Population 3,776. Let me add more. Oh, there's more I forgot to add. Need to add, like, a medical clinic. I don't think I need to add... Add anything on this side, except for water pipes. 
Oh wait, I do need to add a bus stop station now. Well, bus stop. That's what I meant to say. And let me throw in the water pipes. Okay. Let me speed it up and see them move in. <laughs> Aww. It's beautiful. <laughs> Alright, so we're at population of 4,000. Ooh, this is going good. Um... Yeah, so... West of... Okay, my goal for the population is actually going to be 6,000, honestly. So, I need to add more. Let me zone, like, all of this to low-density residential. I don't want to throw in medium-density residential. I need to add another fire station. Another... Wait, did I unlock the large high school? No, I... yeah, I unlocked the large elementary school. And... I haven't unlocked a large high school yet, but I will once the sims start moving in. So, I'll worry about that later. Let me just put this down. And this. And this. Okay, so, um... Oh yeah, let me throw in a library too. And let me speed this up. Hopefully this will get them to a population of 6,000. Alright, they're at 5,000. Still not completely... Well, not everything there is filled up yet. Now they're at 5,000 and a half. Now they're at 5,600. Yeah, that <laughs> that wasn't enough space to get them to 6,000. Alright, so... have to zone more now. If it was high-density residential, then it would be... <laughs> yeah, it would have a lot more sims. Now, this should get it. Let me add another bus stop. And they just have to build right by the bus stop. Sorry, but your houses have to go down. <laughs> Didn't think your sims would be moving in that fast. Oh, wait, I have it on cheetah speed. No wonder why. Okay, never mind. That was my fault. <laughs> okay, so let me add another clinic. Um, I'll put it right here. And let me add a, another large fire station. And water pipes. Yep, those are all covered. Now, how much does this uh, police station cover? Oh, only that much? Does it cover this far? Oh wait, no, that one does. That's a hospital. Oh yeah, it covers this far, so we're going to need to add one more police station just to cover that side of the city. Now they're at 6,000, so I should have unlocked the large high school by now, and yes I did! 
Awesome. What's my city rating at? Oh, okay. So the city's going pretty good. Well, it's not really a city. It's more of a small town. That's exactly what I intended it to be. I mean, back when I first started playing this game, I always wanted to make, like, huge cities with, like, tons of sims living in them. But, uh, I like the small towns. That's what I like. Small, a small Canadian town. That's all, that's how I always imagined, uh, Canada. A bunch of small towns. There are big cities, though. Let me take a picture of this. How did that turn out? Oh, that turned out good. Yep, Joey is going to love this city. <laughs> oh. So, um... So, I guess I'm done building this city. Uh, I wish I would have completed my Canadian Highway 3 signs, but I'll add those in later. I hope you guys all enjoyed uh, this episode of the United States of Joe Winko. So I'm just going to pause and I'm going to save right here. Thanks so much to Joey for answering this episode's trivia question correctly. I really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun building this city, this small town uh, of Gravenhurst, Canada. And Canada seems like a really cool place. I'd love to visit it someday. And if I ever do, I'm definitely going to film a YouTube video there, just like I did for Ohio. <laughs> so don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget to answer this episode's trivia question correctly so you can become the mayor of my next city in the United States of Joe Winko. So that's it. Peace out, people. This episode's trivia question. How did Joe Winko die in Joe Winko's 2010 Sims 2 slasher film, World's Most Deadliest Trick? Answer this question in the comments. The first person to comment the correct answer will be crowned the mayor in my next city of the United States of Joe Winko. Please also mention the name you want to be listed as. Remember, you must use the same name at all times. That is it. Peace out, people.